and be prepared for a wedding. And David had to go to Krakow. And my husband, Henry, he was in uh, the Polish army and he came back, he, was, he fought from Stalingrad to, uh, to Berlin. He came in the Polish, the first Polish army by the name of Skosioska. And so but that time he came back to Poland and was stationed in Poznan. Poznan. So he, he, ca he was supposed to go to Warsaw with some papers and change trains in Krakow. And David and Henry recognized each other on that station. And, the, and he, Henry wanted to know who survived from our city. Uh, David told him, you have to come to the, wed to the wedding, then I won't tell you. So Henry couldn't go because he was in the army, he didn't have a permit, so he came AWOL to Wroclaw to the wedding. When he opened the door, I was sitting on a chair. I thought, I'm seeing a ghost. I almost fainted. And Henry came to me and said, we are getting married. I said, no, we are not getting married right now because I'm going next week to Sweden. I think it was the end of June or beginning of July. I left for Sweden. Henry came in November on an illegal on a coal boat. When he came to Sweden, we were married in Sweden, December the 24th, 1946. You eventually came to New Orleans in 1962. Yes. And now you and I travel the Deep South, telling your story uh, to high school and middle school kids. And I wonder, what's the message that you want to impart to them? First of all, everybody should know, and this everybody, not just the children. This is the, I lived in several countries. The United States is the best country in the world to live. The second is we have all to avoid prejudice and hatred because all those atrocities result, they are results only from hatred and prejudice. And we have to teach our children, we have to start with the young. All the people sometimes is difficult to convince, no matter what you will tell them. It is uh, ingrained in their characters uh, to, to hate. But I think everybody should be treated equal and everybody should be given a chance. And I hope that it won't, the history won't repeat itself. Of course, I can't forget, I can't forget, I can't forget that I had a family, my, in, a, in what way my family was taking, taken away from me. I hope that forgiveness will teach other people not to do what, what was done before. There's a Polish poet, Wyspiansky, and you've quoted him to me before. Yeah, I remember a Polish quote. Pamiętaj ludziom dobre, nie pamiętaj zlego. That means, remember good what people did to you, but try to forget the bad.